The white lion is a rare color mutation of the Tingbavati area. White lions are the same as the tawny African lion found in some wildlife reserves in South Africa and in zoos around the world. White lions are not a separate subspecies and are thought to be indigenous to the Tingbavati region of South Africa for centuries, although the earliest recorded sighting in this region was in 1938. Regarded as divine by locals, white lions first came to public attention in the 1970s in Chris McBride's book The White Lions of Timbavati, up until 2009. When the first pride of white lions was reintroduced to the wild, it was widely believed that the white lion could not survive in the wild. It is for this reason that a large part of the population of white lions now reside in zoos. White lions of Mazani are not albinos. The white color is caused by a recessive trait derived from a less severe mutation in the same gene that causes albinism, distinct from the gene responsible for white tigers, they vary from blonde to near white. This coloration does not appear to disadvantage their survival. The white lions of the Global White Lion Protection Trust have been reintroduced into their natural habitat and have been hunting and breeding successfully without human intervention for a significant amount of time. A recessive gene gives white lions their unusual colors. A similar gene also produces white tigers. White lions can therefore be selectively bred for zoos, animal shows and wildlife parks. Such breeding involves inbreeding and can result in inbreeding depression. Although this has not yet been found to cause hind limb paralysis or serious heart defects, which would indicate a severe level of inbreeding. People are concerned about white lions mating with lions of other alleles due to possible extinction of the white lion. However, this is not valid as the offspring will inherit the recessive white gene and therefore make it possible to produce white offspring in a later generation. Some critics maintain that white lions should not be introduced into the wild because of the inbreeding that has taken place in zoos and breeding camps. However, ethical reintroduction programs such as the Global White Lion Protection Trust have ensured through the use of scientific methodologies that the lions in their program are not inbred. Thank you for watching. For more educational videos, please subscribe to Wiz Science on YouTube or visit wizscience.com.